All right, seal test. So we have all three outlets sealed. Let me try to set this up here. All three outlets sealed. We have air pump gun, which can hold pressure. We've got a couple of nozzle extenders, which will help us create the seal to ensure we can test properly. So we'll start with this outlet, just a rubber cap there. Um, and let's find the appropriately sized nozzle. That should work with a little force to press it in. Open my hose to transfer the air. So on side number one here, press down firmly to create seal, air pump, and we are holding pressure, no leaks, excellent. Okay. Now we'll replace Remove this cap on this side. Put it on this side. Pretty tight rubber, should keep any air from escaping. Okay, sealed up. Now we will test this side. Make sure I get that sealed on well. And it'll pump up, but it oozes out, leaks out. So I think we have a small leak somewhere in this frame. This is one that's too big. Nope, that was the right size one to use. And then just for grins, we'll test the uh, top outlet. All right, so put this on here, push that rubber cap on. We'll use our bigger nozzle this time, since it's a bigger hole. All right, apply appropriate downward pressure. And as expected, this one drops as well. I'm not sure which side the solenoid is open on. Uh, my suspicion is it's open on this side that's leaking. I would suspect that it may actually be somewhere in this glue bond. Um, I feel like I may have seen some dots there, or perhaps it's in this seal too. I've seen these leak. Actually, on the one I'm trying to replace, that area leaks. So. That's what I'm seeing from a, from a leak standpoint.